After years of exploitation in different environment conditions, the optical chamber of the smoke detector is getting more and more polluted. Our addressable fire system have an algorithm for detecting the moment when the dust level in the detector are critical and it requires a cleaning procedure. In this video we will see how to clean the optical smoke chamber of our Senzo Iris S130 and M140 detectors. The first step is to disassemble the detector carefully in order to access the smoke chamber. Use a flat screwdriver to remove the PCB plastic cover by using the four clamps that are holding into the detector main body. Now we need to detach the PCB from the plastic holder. Once we do that, we will have an access to the smoke chamber of the detector. The last step is to remove the smoke chamber from the PCB. We need to do that very precisely so we do not damage the plastic and the PCB itself. Clean the detector with a compressed air can or gun. It's important to clean the chamber for the inside and from the outside as well as the PCB itself. To assemble the detector back together, we need to follow the procedure in reverse order. The markers on the plastic and the PCB will help you with the assembling. After you clean the detector and place it on the loop, the pollution level readings will show the last recorded value, which is before the cleaning. To update this number, the detector must be connected to the loop and working for at least 30 minutes. Within the next 9 hours, the detector will do several more calibrations and measurements and the actual value after cleaning might drop even more. 